Tim's fifth addiction. Psychedelics. So as Tim gets older and older, he starts getting into heavier drugs and he starts getting heavily involved in the rave scene. And he, he, this is very hard for my family because he disappears on Thursday nights and doesn't get home until a Sunday morning and no one knows where he's gone. He's just gone off to these raves out in the middle of nowhere. He gets, he gets into a lot of uh, ecstasy and, and LSD and magic mushrooms and a lot of harder drugs. And uh, no one knows where he's going. He just gets home on these Sunday mornings. And I remember this, this one Sunday morning, morning hearing him come home. And I got out of bed to go to the toilet. And Tim was just sitting in the kitchen, just stirring these two cups of tea. This little grin on his face. He walked these two cups of tea into my parents' bedroom before they were to go to church. And I went to the toilet. I walked back out through the kitchen. And Tim walked past me in the kitchen. And just as we passed, he leant in close to my ear and just went, I just put acid in mum and dad's tea. <laughs> my mum and dad are the straightest people in the world. They've never smoked a cigarette, they've never been drunk, they never listened to rock and roll music. They are the straightest people in the world and Tim has just put an entire tub of acid into each of their teas before they go to church where my dad is the fucking minister. <laughs> And they go off to church and they come back about two hours later and Dad storms into the kitchen. He marches around the kitchen table and he just says, That is the best service I've ever done in my entire life! I can see the Holy Spirit filling the congregation! I can see the Holy Spirit flying around the air! And he yells at my mum, whose name is Mary. He goes, Mary, pack your bags! We're going to Sydney! <laughs> and Mum packs her bags, they pack up the car and drive a 16-hour drive to Sydney! <laughs> Mum calls me up 17 hours later and just says, we're coming home. 